Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're taking an early look at the brand new Community Day move for Haxorus, Breaking Swipe. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, Breaking Swipe has the same stats as its existing move of Dragon Claw, but every time you use it, it guaranteed lowers your opponent's attack. This means Breaking Swipe is a pretty nice upgrade for Haxorus in every single league. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Breaking Swipe Haxorus in action in the Great League. Hopping into the first match, pick it up a pretty nicely Knocked Owl into Metacham. Metacham can stay in here and win the Zero Shield, but the Knocked Owl will be able to get them quite low in the process. Metacham will strike first with the Ice Punch. We see the No Shield from the Knocked Owl, and Knocked Owl is going to return fire with the Sky Attack. This will not KO, but it will get the Metacham quite low. Knocked Owl continues to farm up, and we see a very nice catch, catching the Ice Punch onto the Galarian Stunfisk. Stunfisk would be able to farm down. Opponent is forced to switch. In comes Alolan Sandslash. Alolan Sandslash, of course, does have access to Drill Run, which will hit for super effective damage. Drill Run from the A-Slash. Super effective damage onto the Stunfisk, but Stunfisk able to hang on and make it to the Earthquake. Earthquake will grab a shield. Stunfisk looking to make it to another charge move. The Alolan Sandslash will not let that happen. Going for the Ice Punch. Ice Punch is going to be getting rid of the Stunfisk. But now this sets up shield advantage Haxorus, and Haxorus with a shield advantage or energy lead is just absurdly strong. They're firing off an Ice Punch. We see the immediate shield from the Haxorus. Haxorus is going to get the full counter down and lead with energy. In the back, it's a Sableye, and now it's time for Haxorus to shine. Going for the Breaking Swipe, that's going to connect, debuffing the opponent's attack, and making it to Breaking Swipe number two. Sableye cannot farm down, they're going to have to throw energy, they reset the debuff with the Metacham, Haxorus farms down, in comes the Noctowl, and the opponent concedes the match. Picking up a tough lead in the next match, Knocked Owl into Lantern. Immediate save switch into the G-Fisk. Opponent staying in this matchup with the Smart Lantern, so they clearly do not have a hard counter to G-Fisk in the back. That is quite nice. They are going to connect with a Surf. Stunfisk farming up, going for the Earthquake, losing CMP to the Lantern. We will see a shield deployed by the Stunfisk here on the Surf, and Stunfisk, no baits, full send in the Earthquake. Lantern will commit the shield. Stunfisk. Continuing to farm, making it to Earthquake number two, losing CMP to the Lantern. This Surf will not KO, and then Stunfisk is going for the Quake again. Let's see, does the opponent want to call the bait? Yes, they do! Earthquake KOs, and Stunfisk wins Switch. Opponent is going to send in Trevenant, and Switch advantage is absolutely everything, as in comes Knocked Owl. Opponent is going to send in their final Pokemon, which is their own Knocked Owl, and now we get to see Knocked Owl versus Haxorus. Haxorus is going to win CMP with the Breaking Swipe, as Knocked Owl makes it to the Sky Attack. Breaking Swipe will be shielded. Haxorus is going to commit the shield, because Haxorus needs to get as many debuffs as it possibly can before taking charge moves. Haxorus is extremely glassy in the Great League, but as you can see, the damage output on this thing is terrific. Haxorus is able to get knocked out deep into the red. Sky Attack is going to connect. Haxorus will get farmed down, but has basically KO'd a knocked out, one of the tankiest Great League Pokemon. Knocked out will fire off a Sky Attack, but this game is absolutely over. There's just nothing Trevenant can do against Knocked Owl. In comes the Trevenant. Knocked Owl goes for the Shadow Ball, KOs the Trevenant, and secures the win. Picking up a neutral lead in the next match, Knocked Owl into Altaria. Definitely don't mind seeing the Altaria on the lead, considering those Dragon Breaths would absolutely shred the Haxorus in the back. Knocked Owl is going to strike first, going for the Sky Attack. That's going to be no-shielded by the opponent. Farm it up, and we see a beautiful catch, catching a charge move from the Altaria. It's the Moon Blast onto the Galarian Stunfisk, and Stunfisk is going to lure out a Trevenant. Honestly, this works out quite nicely. This way, the counter user in back Haxorus gets to avoid the ghost type. And on top of that, Knocked Owl should hopefully get some nice farm farming down the Trevenant later on. 
Rockside is going to connect. Opponent now going to full send the Shadow Ball here. Not really a point in baiting when you're this low of HP. As Stunfisk is going to no shield and set up a very nice farm for the Knocked Owl. The goal is Knocked Owl can leave with energy to threaten the Altaria. And Altaria should basically be energy dry here. Shadow Ball is going to connect onto the Knocked Owl. That is double resisted. In comes the Altaria. And it's Knocked Owl's turn to fire off charge moves. Going for the Sky Attack. Sky Attack. We'll get the Altaria deep into the red. Knocked Owl able to make it to Sky Attack number two. The energy from farming down the Trevenant coming in clutch. Altaria commits the shield. Knocked Owl will be hit with a charge move. No shielding. Leaving it all up to the Haxorus. In comes the Haxorus. In the back, it's a Sableye. And Haxorus going straight for the Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe will, of course, lower the opponent's attack, which is quite nice because Haxorus is so glassy. Haxorus thankfully does have an exceedingly high attack stat so able to win cmp over the sable eye and put pressure on that final shield opponent does commit the final shield foul play will be shielded haxorus going to have to commit the final shield as well this is going to be close can haxorus potentially counter down here haxorus thinking about the counter down decides against that sable eye could have made the foul play Breaking Swipe will be thrown. In comes the Altaria. It's a simultaneous KO. And that's a good game. We see a familiar lead in the next match. Knocked Owl into Metacham. Opponent save switches into their own Knocked Owl, which will instantly be answered by the Galarian Stunfisk. Stunfisk does do quite well here, able to outpace the Knocked Owl and apply a lot of pressure with these super effective rock slides. As you can see, Knocked Owl can tank two rock slides, but not super comfortably. Shadow Ball is going to connect onto the Stunfisk. Stunfisk able to make it to rock slide number two, putting pressure on the shield of the Knocked Owl, and the opponent is going to commit the shield. Stunfisk now in a bit of an interesting situation here, choosing to match shields. Opponent clearly trying to make a play for Switch, so odds are they probably have a very strong counter to Knocked Owl in the back. That's why they're looking to make a play for Swap, and they double shield. Opponent absolutely looking to make a play for Switch. We see the double shield from the Stunfisk here. Opponent goes for the Rock Slide catch onto Metacham, but showing great patience, sending in the Knocked Owl, going for the Sky Attack, but losing CMP to the Metacham. Metacham fires off the Psychic into the Knocked Owl. Knocked Owl able to withstand that damage and return fire with the Sky Attack. Sky Attack connects onto the Metacham. Knocked Owl continuing to farm, going for Sky Attack number two, just trying to get rid of the Metacham. Sky Attack is going to KO in the back. We see their hard counter to a knocked owl they are running lantern lantern is going to be fully walled by haxorus but haxorus is so glassy that even resisted moves are going to hurt here haxorus farming up very close to the breaking swipe opponent goes for the surf that does so much resisted damage but they over farm one more and you're not going to win cmp against the haxorus breaking swipe gets them low and gets that ever important debuff opponent fires off the surf haxorus able to survive in comes the knocked owl and a beautiful snipe with the rock slide from the galarian stunfisk rock slide gets them low stunfisk gets the farm down lantern makes it to the surf here this will ko but at this point it's all over for the opponent one counter from the haxorus will secure the win Picking up a dominant lead in the next match, Knocked Owl into Venusaur. Knocked Owl has a commanding matchup here, but the opponent is not switching out. Opponent must be ABA weak to Knocked Owl to be staying in such a terrible matchup. Venusaur can go for the Sludge Bomb, but as you can see, Knocked Owl tanks it very comfortably and now going for the kill shot with the Sky Attack. Opponent commits the shield. They are clearly so weak to Knocked Owl. Knocked Owl making it to Sky Attack number two. Decision time for the opponent. Opponent is going to double shield and Knocked Owl will be hit with a charge move. Knocked Owl saves the shields. They go for the Frenzy Plant. That will not KO. Knocked Owl makes the Sky Attack and is going to win not only Switch Advantage, but both shields as well. And now we see why the opponent didn't switch. There's an Alolan Marowak in the back. In comes Galarian Stunfisk. Stunfisk can tank whatever they throw here. It is going to be the Bone Club. Stunfisk will look to make it to the Earthquake versus the Marowak. And Marowak is about to have a truly terrible day. Earthquake gets rid of the Marowak in the back. Opponent has a Zoomeril. And we see a blind swap into the Haxorus. Haxorus has two shields and only resisted moves. 
Let's see what Haxorus can do here. Haxorus, despite these charge moves being resisted, is one of the most attack-weighted Pokemon in the Grey League. Ice Beam will be shielded. Haxorus going for Surf number two here. And honestly, the Azu's health is diminishing quite quickly in this matchup, which is a bit surprising. Haxorus is going to commit the second shield here. Breaking Swipe, of course, would be double resisted, so opting for the single resisted Surf instead. Haxorus going for Surf number three. That gets the Azu low. Haxorus counters down Azumarill, and that is a good game. We see a favorable lead in the next match, Knocked Owl into Surfetched. Opponent save switches into a Shadow Hypno. I have not seen one of these in quite some time, and that will be answered with the Galarian Stunfisk. This Hypno is running Fire Punch, which is not what the Stunfisk was hoping to see. No baits here, Stunfisk going for the Earthquake, opponent will commit the shield. The nice thing is, this means that the Stunfisk can very safely match shields, and then again, just full send the Earthquake. Earthquake should do a lot of damage here. Honestly, I haven't seen Hypno played in a while. This should come close to KOing. Hypno is able to withstand the damage and the mud shots, and Hypno will be able to force a shield. The nice thing is, the Stunfish should leave with enough energy that it can make an Earthquake and threaten a shield off the Surf Edge. Makes it to the Earthquake. Oh no, accidentally clicked on the rock slide, but the opponent shields. Oh my goodness. Opponent shields, so all is still well. In comes the Knocked Owl into the Surfetch. Surfetch firing off a Night Slash. Night Slash, we do not see the boost. Surfetch not gonna make another charge move. Knocked Owl going for the Sky Attack. That's gonna KO the Surfetch. We see the low battery notification. And in comes a Bastiodon. This is unfortunately a situation where Breaking Swipe is not helpful, but Surf is very clutch. Surf will get the Bastiod on low, and honestly, Haxor has put up a heck of a fight in the Zero Shield here, and now you can just send in the Knocked Owl, make the Sky Attack, or actually go for the Shadow Ball. Yeah, it's probably not Sky Attack range. Probably need the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball to KO the Bastiod on and get the win. Great lead in the next match, Knocked Owl into Jellicent. This is a dominating matchup for Knocked Owl. Opponent is going to save switch into Umbreon, and Umbreon will be answered with Haxorus. Haxorus is going to shield up the first charge move because foul play, even from an Umbreon, would hit incredibly hard. But the nice thing is, Haxorus now gets to go for Breaking Swipe, getting some chip damage, and of course, lowering the attack of the Umbreon. Opponent throws on alignment, giving Haxorus a counter for free. Debuffed foul play onto the Haxorus. Still does so much damage. Haxorus will get the counter down and leave with a ton of energy to threaten the Jellicent. In comes the Jellicent. Haxorus firing off a breaking swipe. Breaking swipe will be shielded by the opponent. Unfortunately, it looks like the Jellicent may be lagging here. But either way, Haxorus has so much energy. Opponent... Finally able to get some fast moves through, but Haxorus just left with so much energy here. Firing off Breaking Swipe after Breaking Swipe in this matchup. Oh man, opponent just in absolute shambles in this match. Breaking Swipe gets them low. It's the CMP tie. They fire off the Surf to finally get rid of the Haxorus. In comes Knocked Owl. In the back is Skarmory. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Hopping into the final match, leading Knocked Owl into Shadow Charizard. Shadow Charizard, always terrifying. Opponent save switches into Shadow Galvantula, which will be immediately answered with the Galarian Stunfisk. Stunfisk is an absolute wall here. Lunge is going to be single resisted. And Stunfisk, full sending the Quake here. This is not quite Rock Slide range. Earthquake will connect. No shields from the opponent. And down goes the Galv. Back in comes the Shadow Charizard, but it's going to get outpaced by the Stunfisk here. An opponent is going to have to give up a shield. That's exactly what they're going to do. At this point, honestly, I think you just let this go. They can Blast Burn, but you have a shield advantage for the Knocked Owl. Opponent baits with the Dragon Claw. Oh no, things going from bad to worse for the opponent. They're double shielding the Shadow Charizard. Stunfisk continues to farm. Again, we see the no shield here. It's another Dragon Claw. Oh my goodness. Stunfisk on one HP makes the rock slide. That's gonna KO. Looking to send in the Haxorus. In the back, it's Obama Snow, and the opponent concedes the match.
All in all, Breaking Swipe is a terrific addition to Haxorus's moveset. As I mentioned, it's basically just the Dragon Claw that Haxorus already had, but now it can lower the opponent's attack. And considering how glassy Haxorus is in the Great League, being able to debuff your opponent's damage allows you to tank more moves, output more damage. So overall, I feel like this is a really well thought out addition to Haxorus's moveset and one that gives it a ton more viability, especially in the Great League. In the Great League, it's definitely going to be anti-meta. It's not top meta in my view, but I was surprised at how well this thing can do if you give it shields in the Great League. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.